So we are on our way to locals with this kid again. Uh, we're dropping into probably what's going to be the last locals for a little while. Um, the unnamed thing that's ruining everyone's lives at the moment is going to continue to do so. And it looks like we could be looking at another national lockdown in uh, with this week coming up. So this will probably be my last one of these for a little while. So hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully we have a nice run out. Uh, unfortunately, most of the lads aren't there today. So uh, we won't see as many as we normally see. Uh, but hopefully still a good local to look forward to. So we're on our way to Northampton now. And apologies about all the noise. It is raining like fucking crazy. As you'll be able to see in that back window there. Doing my reverse mirror and thing. In our back window you'll see how crazy the rain is at the moment. So uh, yeah, on the way in. And uh, hopefully a better week than last week. A better week than the week before. But probably the last one of these for a little while. So it's certainly a little bit less wet, but definitely not much less windy. We are round one down. Uh, we play against Predator Plants, which is kind of weird. A little bit scary because uh, they can certainly wrap up a lot of your stuff. Obviously, Super Polys and things like that to think about. Uh, we did get hit with Super Poly ones, but fortunately, the deck just has a great ability to interrupt and make your opponent's life difficult. So you can take a little bit of Super Poly and still play quite nicely. So we won 2-0. Uh, it was about 15 minutes for the round. So we, we did pretty well uh, against the possibility of something that could have been quite a bit of a banana skin game. Uh, we're in a pot of four, so we're only going to be playing against who we already know we're playing against. So we're going to be playing against Calum, who by the time of this is going to will have done a box opening for us uh, which we recorded this morning and then uh, we've got one more game against Solomon so I don't know what he's playing but I guess we'll find out how it goes just the uh, four rounds today uh, the three rounds today sorry at locals um, short one for pre-release weekend but fingers crossed it continues to go as well as this one has look at this Two secrets down out of how many packs? Like a handful, both on one um, side. Yeah, both on the same side. So it's like a we got a good Phantom Knights, so that's always good. Yeah. Gotta like set those pog blades somehow. See, I'm feeling there's gonna be a Starlight in here. This is a Starlight box. Pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for it. Just sell it on back to jam done cards. Easy. Literally. I mean, if it's Peter, I'm pretty sure Henry will just be like, <laughs> Yeah, could be like, let's go. It was funny because he asked about it the day before it got like leaked that it was in there. He was like, they better reprint it as a Starlight. It's like, hmm, you know too much. They're going to have to cancel Henman. See, this is, this is a box opening, like two minutes for the whole box. Like, wee! But, Eyes on the prize, yeah. Was it good? No, next. Are you trying to get the mutant stuff or? Um, I'm interested in it. Um, I, I just kind of, I really like the artwork. Yeah. <laughs> and the effects are interesting. And if they continue to support it, which I'm assuming they will. Um, I don't know, man. We've seen it with other decks where so you're like, oh, this will be good. And then nothing happens. Uh, oh, you got Wolverine as well. Yeah. I mean, the Phantom Knight just makes that all worth it anyway, yeah, really. I'm pretty sure he does. That's pretty good. Well done. Something, something about this supposed to be a good set. This is Northampton in a short video clip. <laughs>
so I guess I'm just in one of those moods today. Um, yeah, another win. Ten minutes down, we beat Infernoble. Uh, game one, we go first. We set up everything. He loses. Uh, game two, I just open all the interrupts and open both parts of my engine. Uh, ten minute round, so pretty happy with how that's went. So our last game, I already know I'm going to be playing against Marinces, uh, against Calum. So that's going to be a grindy game. It always is with him anyway. He's one of those players that likes those kind of decks. And he also plays really slow, so there you go. Um, so probably a bit more of a grindy game. But we're, I mean, we're so early into locals and already I've got one round left. So kind of weird, but we'll see how we get on. Fingers crossed, though, it continues the same and we can get all of those packs and crack them open. So that's it for the day. We finished 2 1 in the end. Um, my hand in game one against Marinces was absolute garbage. Uh, I have to go second, which is already a bit of a going to be a uphill battle. We opened two Alistair, Nibiru, uh, I think it was Ash Blossom, and then Fleur de Lis, so already virtually unplayable. Uh, but obviously, if Alistair goes through, we're okay. We draw for turn. It's Alistair number three. So we've seen all three of them, and naturally, of course, he has an interrupt for all three of them so every time one gets summoned over the successive turns it gets stopped and we don't generate any real advantage even the nibiru didn't help us that much so uh, unfortunately that game was down and then game two we go into it um i go first i was thinking about making him go first and then just siding in all the back row hate we sided in duster and a few other cards to try and deal with his board um unfortunately didn't get far enough didn't see enough uh to to see us through so unfortunately it lost there so we finished two one in the end uh not too not too shabby we've also got his profile it might be up by the time this goes up it may come up shortly afterwards you can see his marincess deck profile on there like i said this could be the last locals for a little while we don't really know what's happening at the moment because of this whole uh lockdown scenario so uh, if this is the last one for a little while i'll see you when the next one of these come up but make sure you subscribe so you can see all the other good content between now and then This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.